Ugh, I just don't know where to start. Yet. I I don't I don't know where to go from here. Yet. Ugh, I I just I don't get it. You don't get it yet. Mathematicians don't simply get stuck and give up. Mathematicians analyze the information they know, they use their mathematical toolbox, look for different approaches, and they simply do not give up. Does anyone else think they know the answer? I think it's LeBron scored 26 points in the first half. Sorry. Mathematicians should be able to put a situation in terms of numbers so that they can do some calculations. But they also should be able to put numbers in terms of their meaning so that they can solve real world problems in the context of real world. In conclusion, my opponent here is clearly just stupid and their answer is completely wrong. So, logically, after taking the root of both sides of the equation, we can see that the answer clearly must be 3. My opponent is somewhat correct. They make a good argument, but I don't think that they're considering that when you take the square root, you also need to consider the negative answer. So it is positive 3 and negative 3. Mathematicians are expected to create solutions and justifications that are logical and provide valid reasoning. Also, mathematicians are expected to analyze their peers and provide constructive feedback. <music> mathematicians can apply the math that they know to design, construct, analyze and interpret models that serve the purpose of representing and solving real-world problems. That student clearly wasn't using her compass tool appropriately. It wasn't necessary for her problem. Mathematicians know the functions of the tools that they have available. They know the limitations of those tools and they know which tool would be appropriate for their problem. Mathematicians use precise communication by means of precise vocabulary, precise units of measurement, and precise calculations. Hmm, I wonder where food spending has been so much from June to August. Probably all that ice cream we've been buying. Mathematicians are consistently looking for patterns and constantly seeking the significance of those patterns. Then they use their knowledge of those patterns to solve problems in an overall perspective. I keep getting 3.14. I wonder if there's a shortcut for this. When completing a repeated process, mathematicians should look for repeated solutions and repeated reasonings. Then they should use that knowledge to make sense when they're generalizing methods and looking for shortcuts. Being a mathematician isn't easy work, but we can all be one if we follow tip number one and persevere.